Hello everyone, uh, my name is Damien, uh, I've been a YouTube user for uh, probably a couple of years, uh, maybe a few, bit more than that, maybe a few years, and um, anyway I thought it was about time that I gave back to the community, you know, in the sense of um, throw a few videos up uh, about a few different things. And one of my main interests is, um, is uh, GNU Linux and the various distributions. Now uh, I'd like to talk uh, a little bit quickly about uh, Fedora, uh, Ubuntu Gentoo, OpenSUSE, React OS and uh, OpenSolaris. Now the last two, uh, React OS and uh, OpenSolaris, well they're not Linux distributions or junior Linux distributions, but uh, nonetheless, um, yeah they deserve a mention. Anyway, Fedora, been using Fedora for uh, some time. Uh, Fedora is good um, for uh, desktop, um, even server. I've used it as an FTP server and things like that. It's got um, various programs, you know, very secure FTP daemon and things like that that uh, enable it to act in those roles. The thing that I find uh, uh, limiting about Fedora is that it um, it doesn't really have too many packages outside. You know that's proverbial square. So, if you if you're looking for something a little bit uh, different, like I was this morning, uh, a video and audio capture program for um, for GNU Linux. Yeah, well, I didn't end up finding the one that I wanted, and that is why I'm using a Sony CyberShot camera to actually capture this instead of the built-in web camera on this computer running Fedora. Um, I suppose the, the key the key advantages of Fedora is that it's um, it's well put together. I mean, like they're, um, they're doing their best to create a unified operating system, which means, in the sense of, uh, nothing seems like it's just a bunch of cobbled together parts. Especially with the known desktop, but everything seems to look it's going look like it's going in the right right direction. Ubuntu once again uses uh, GNOME. However, I get this feeling that uh, Ubuntu is sort of, um, as much as it's got way superior features to Debian or even Fedora, I feel like it's um, uh, Debian's spoiled cousin, in the sense that uh, it has all these programs and stuff like that, but it likes to misbehave from time to time. Like, on this uh, here, Intrepid Ibex uh, does not work really well on this laptop. Uh, it does in live USB mode, but when you actually install on the on here, um, there's something wrong with ACPI, uh, the daemon there, and it uh, decides to do some funky things while shutting down, and it takes ages. And that is why I'm not running Ubuntu on this machine. Not to mention like tacky things like seeing text here and there, and when you're booting up and whatnot. I mean, that's great if you want to get a running commentary of what's happening, but if you just want the system booted up and whatnot, then yeah. I'd say that the, one of the most attractive features of Fedora is actually that they're moving to a graphical bootloader, which is really, really good. That's called Plymouth. Um, Gentoo Linux. Uh, uh, Gentoo Linux, wonderful distribution. Uh, however, you need to... And it's wonderful because you can put whatever you want in there, um, but it really is up to the user um, or the system administrator to make that system as good as possible. It doesn't just come out of the box, you know, great. Um, and the graphical installer from the live CD leaves much to be desired. Uh, OpenSUSE, general, uh, general universal distribution, um, it's, uh, they've come a long way. They started supporting like the different repositories like Pac-Man. By default, you know, like you can just add it in there with a tick of a button rather than having to put all the details in about the URL and, and whatnot. Uh, OpenSUSE, I would say, is a great KDE distribution. And um, and I think, uh, despite the fact that they've made agreements with uh, Microsoft and, and, you know, Novell and, and uh, Microsoft have made agreements and uh, probably somewhat unfair to the community, you know, uh, with the patent licensing and things like that. Um, they're still, it's still a distribution worthy of looking at for um, the newbie. React OS, well React OS as I said is uh, strictly speaking not a, a Linux distribution. It does use the Wine libraries I've heard. Uh, it is a Windows like environment. In fact you can get in the command line and see uh, that these same commands that you would be used to in Windows actually work in React OS. However, it is only in Alpha and will not be in Beta for a while. 
So we just got to wait for that one. Uh, see how that goes and compare it to Windows, especially as um, Wine evolves and especially as React OS itself uh, evolves, uh, especially with the uh, kernel aiming for 50% compatibility by I think 0.34 or 0.35 the versions. Open Solaris, wow! What a distribution. Uh, not a Linux distribution, it is a System V um, distribution. I think a System V, yes, yeah, System V. Anyway, um, the appearance, they have made GNOME look so good. If every other distribution could do with the GNOME desktop what they have done, wow, we would have some incredible distributions out there. Um, I mean, they're really taking a leaf out of Mac's book. I really do believe that. Um, but in saying that, Mac has sort of the lead on the 3D desktop environment, that sort of thing. So, sort of relying on compis and stuff like that. It's very interesting to see that KDE 4, the alternative to uh, GNOME and KDE 3.5.10, uh, well, uh, it has the compositing inbuilt into the uh, window manager and things like that, rather than using compis. So anyway, I'd just like to say that I uh, think that, um, you know, there are a lot of things going uh, for these distributions. There are also a lot of things going against them. Um, if we could somehow, I don't know how, we've all got our different things to do. And I know that people have their different ideologies and, you know, variety makes the community better and whatnot. But if we just like, take some of the lessons that we learn from each distribution and apply those lessons learned, especially at under the graphics level. I mean, like things like Ubuntu not shutting down properly or with Trepid Ivex not shutting down properly on a uh, Dell Inspiron 1520, just not acceptable. Especially since they've got deals with uh, Dell and things like that. So anyway, this has been um, my little uh, video blog, uh, blog, so vlog if you like, and um, not to complain because we're all getting free distributions and whatnot, but I just thought I'd throw my two cents in. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.